one of the bigger issues that are being covered right now is the the whole situation in Hungary with George Soros, in particular the Soros Foundation. Now, the Hungarian government has decided that they don't want Soros interfering in their country, in their political process, in their social scene, etc. And nor, nor should they put up with the Soros doing it. What's going on here is that uh, in this situation, there's a lot of misinformation regarding the Soros Foundation. Now, a lot of people believe it to be some kind of conspiracy. Oh, it's an SJW conspiracy by liberals to uh, dot, 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 whatever crazy thing we've come up with today. Now, when you look at the Soros Foundation in Ukraine, it's openly supporting and funding neo-Nazi groups, which is really not really SJW-ish. Now, when the government said they're going to step in and create more transparency for the Soros Foundation to see what they're doing, where their money is going, who's involved, etc., the Soros Foundation decided to just pull out and move their operations to Germany, which means they are certainly afraid of some level of transparency. Uh, I'm assuming that the Hungarian government would carry out uh, some kind of hostility against the Soros Foundation, uh, possibly even harassing the organization, etc. Like I said, I don't feel sorry for them. They really do just deserve a lot of the uh, the shit that they actually do get. So, I, you know, I'm not shedding any tears for Soros or his foundation either. But the problem here is that people don't have a proper understanding of what it is that the Soros Foundation actually does. Yes, they're supporting uh, liberal activist groups like Black Lives Matter, etc., but they're also turning around and supporting neo-Nazi groups in Ukraine. And then, of course, the... Rightists uh, just completely ignore what Soros is doing that's rightist, and liberals will tend to just ignore when they're being helped by Soros. In other words, there's a fair amount of dishonesty on either side, as we should already expect at this moment. Now, the big thing here is that Soros is carrying out the... Soros is part of the mainstream U.S. capitalist society. And that's what he does. When it goes into certain subjects, it does what's good for capital. Essentially, what Soros wants to do with Black Lives Matter is to create more of a social peace. He does want to get rid of racism so that capitalism can function more smoothly. Now, he's a fool if he thinks he's going to get rid of racism under capitalism, because that's not, that's not going to happen. But it's clearly... A, to understand what it is that he wants. He wants uh, equal wages, equal uh, buying power so that the system can function as a consumerist society and to have essentially black Americans become just as much of a bunch of consumers as white people are. I mean, there is uh, somewhat of a, of a progressive element to capitalism. There's a reason why capitalism is a stage in the development of the productive forces and thus the relationships there too. But of course it has its limits. And if he thinks racism is going to go away under capitalism, he's completely, he's completely delusional. But you can see what it is that he wants. The less hostility there is against the system, the more profitability is possible. Social peace is profitable under capitalism. Now, global peace isn't, but domestic peace in the imperialist core is definitely profitable. So what's with the Nazis in, in uh, Ukraine, etc.? Essentially, this the him funding the neo-Nazis is to fight Russia and Russia's imperialist ambitions uh, to fight the interests of the capitalists inside of Russia who want to have, you know, they want to have their slice of Ukraine, they want to have Ukraine, and the U.S. wants to have Ukraine, etc. So this is a struggle between two national capitals in this case, which, by the way, is the very foundation of imperialist, imperialist war, if one were to read and understand Lenin. So it's not that Soros is pro-Nazi or pro-SJW Black Lives Matter. Soros is pro what will make him money, what will advance his own capitalist interests. That's why there's such a seeming contradiction between supporting neo-Nazis and supporting Black Lives Matter. 
because they're both aiming at essentially a very similar goal, and that is his own pocketbook. And this is something that supports uh, the general capitalist structure in the United States as well. So it, it, it's 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 ridiculous to just reduce this to some kind of conspiracy theory that Soros is this or that or he's he's like friends with the gay frogs or whatever because that's not that, that's not how it, that that's not an understanding of the system that's one of those things where you reduce it to the individual which is liberalism and not understanding his actions in the context of a wider society or more specifically the structure of the economic system itself soros acts in his own economic in, in his own economic interest and that is as a capitalist as as a billionaire and that's why he's doing this so i, I think that uh, people really need to realize that rather than just simply looking at the stuff that they don't like what he does and then ignoring this the stuff that he does that they do like and then formulate that as a somehow a conspiracy against them i mean these things are, are more complicated than a lot of liberals or even uh rightists uh in general are trying to make this out to be as leftists as marxists we we are supposed to understand things from a structural standpoint to understand their material existing aspect and their relationship to the you know, base superstructure etc which a lot of people aren't doing. Instead, they're just spouting conspiratorial nonsense. So that kind of aspect really does need to be looked at. Soros is not a good guy. He's not the good guy. He should not be supported. He is a capitalist. He is for capitalist exploitation. He is for uh, capitalist oppression. He is for U.S. imperialism. And on those grounds, he should absolutely be opposed. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.